Hello everybody, welcome back to Lost Guide to Dead Side. Man, I've been waiting a while to say that the update is finally live on every server, so... Today we're gonna be covering convoys, but before we get into that, I do want to remind you guys that I have my own Dead Side server now. My server is more focused on solo, duo, and trio players, so you won't have to worry about big squads and super geared people taking you out all the time. I'm also working on getting a KD tracker working right now, and there should be some cool events coming in the future, so come check it out. Also, if you like the content you see here in this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel because I'm going to have a lot more of these guides coming out very soon. So, the convoys. This is the big thing that everybody's going to want to do when they get into this update. And a lot of people that just run in and try to do these are going to be very disappointed to learn that these are extremely challenging. If you don't know what you're doing, you will pretty much die instantly. That's not even an exaggeration. Sometimes you will be walking up to these convoys and they will see you drop you. But before we get into that, let's cover the basics of the convoys in case you don't already know about it. So basically a convoy is a group of like 6 to 8 bots, I don't have an exact number, but around that amount. These will be following a main road or path and they will be marked on the map, and the mark will follow them as they walk. The majority of the bots have basically the same AI as the bunker guards or helicopter guards. But there's one bot which is actually the boss of the convoy. This is the main one you're gonna have to worry about. There are two types of bosses. The first one will have a ghillie suit and a VSD. He never has a helmet and always has a tactical vest, so this guy is pretty easy to take out if you get the drop on him. Because he doesn't have very much armor, it's kind of easy just to spray him down. But if he gets the drop on you, he will use that VSD to basically kill you instantly. He also has very good range, and once he sees you, he will run at you for a while. He will track you down and kill you. Because of his ghillie suit, he's also very hard to see, and especially in wooded areas. He'll blend in pretty well with the bushes. The second boss though is what I think is the more challenging one. I don't really have a name for this one yet, but I'm gonna call it the machine gun boss. This guy always has a full set of heavy assault armor and an MG36. You can usually see him pretty easily because the armor he wears has unique skins that are only on this boss, and they look really really cool. I've only seen a few of these skins so far in game, but I have yet to see one that I actually don't like. So, let's talk about how to take these guys out. Now, the strategies I think you should use here are pretty similar to the ones that you should use in something like a helicopter crash or an epic mission. Except the difference here is, you have basically no chance of killing these guys, unless you have the gear to do so. If you have experience fighting the harder helicopter guards, you need to employ those strategies here in order to take these guys out. The simple fact of the matter is, is that these bots can kill you faster than you can kill them. That's just how it is. And because they have the numbers advantage, you have a very small chance of just sitting there and shooting them all. You're gonna have to get creative with it, you're gonna have to use a lot of cover, and you're going to have to have good armor because these guys have great aim, and chances are you're gonna get shot a lot. I'd be very careful about fighting these guys in very heavily wooded areas, especially places with bushes. A lot of the bots in this game have a very bad habit of shooting through grass and bushes, so you might think you're in cover when really they can see you and they will drop you. So, with that in mind, what strategies can we use to take these guys out? Well, when you approach the convoy, the first thing I do is figure out which direction they are moving. This is very important because you don't want to approach the convoy and just run right into them. You want to come up behind them. So look at the map and see which direction they're moving and try to come up on their side or their back. From there, I'd also check if there are any other players in the area. These are going to attract a lot of players and this is going to be a very good event for PvP. But if you're just focused on taking out the convoy, you need to be very careful. Once you have the correct positioning, you'll notice that you can probably get eyes on the convoy, and because you're behind them, they won't see you. From there, you need to find a location to set up an ambush. There are a lot of different attacks that you can use to take these guys out, and I think the most obvious way is a sniper. You can sit pretty far away and take out these bots. With any sort of sniper rifle and a very good scope, you can sit back behind cover and slowly take out these bots. When doing this though, you need to take out the boss first. Always do that. They have the best aim and they really don't care that you're really far away, so treat it like they're basically right in front of you and try to kill them as fast as you can. If not, something like this might happen. Once the boss is taken out, the rest are relatively easy. It's kind of like doing a helicopter crash. Just make sure you don't peek for too long because they can punish you for sitting out in the open. The difficult thing about this strategy though is that when you aggro them this way, they will start to spread out a bit. This can make it a lot harder if you're trying to loot their bodies, and leaves you vulnerable to people killing you after you finish the convoy. Once you do kill all the bots, a message will be sent to the rest of the server, and the case will be dropped on the ground in the location of the last bot you killed. 
From here, I definitely think it is actually worth taking the time to loot every single bot. Especially the boss, obviously, since he has the good gear, but all the other bots have a high chance of having keys, dog tags, compensators, rare weapons, all sorts of stuff. They also have the new clothing items and helmets if you want those. This is also a very dangerous thing to do though, because you are very vulnerable while looting. So make sure to watch your back or have a friend watch your back while this process is going on. Once you're ready to go, this is where you kinda have to make a decision. If you're a solo player, I wouldn't recommend picking up the case, and I'll explain why. When you do pick up a case, what you have to do is carry it to a trader, and then once you're in the trader, you can open it. These cases always just drop attachments, but they can drop any attachment. This might not sound great at first, but this is a pretty good way of getting those M3 compensators. I'll have a video out soon about compensators and all the new recoil patterns, but just know that for now, the M3s are really, really worth getting. You can get any kind of scope, especially the new scopes, which are kind of hard to find. You can get suppressors. You can get extended mags, which are also pretty hard to find. But the thing is, from the moment you pick up this crate, you are marked on the map. A message will be sent to the entire server that you have picked up a case. They also know exactly where you're going to be going. Because the only way to open this case is at a trader, you're probably going to go straight there. So this makes it very easy for a player that wants to kill you to put himself between you and the traitor. Chances are, if you're a solo player, you're gonna die trying to do this. Unless you get lucky and there's not very many people online, it's very easy to take you out by just setting up an ambush. So, if you're a solo player or don't really care about the new attachments, I'd just go ahead and leave the case where it is. Instead, I would focus on getting the loot from the boss AI. Those guys have super good loot, and they're the only way to get skinned heavy assault armor or ghillie suits. Overall, I'd say it is very, very much worth the effort to try to take out one of these convoys. It's very risky, and chances are you're gonna die your first couple times trying to take these out, but the amount of loot you are guaranteed to get from the boss minions and all the AI is very, very much worth risking that loot. There are also some non-conventional ways of taking these guys out, but they can be a little bit more risky than just, say, sniping them. One of my personal favorite ways to do this is to use tripwires. I'll do a video on explosives soon, but all you need to do is find a wire out in the world. This is similar to finding sheet metal or burlap for construction stuff. They spawn in about the same areas, I'm pretty sure, and you combine that wire with any grenade. And I would definitely recommend you use the F1 grenades and not the R5s because they are much, much better. When you get the trip wires, figure out which direction the convoy is going to be going and set up two of these trip wires on the road. Now, all you have to do is sit and wait, and wait until the convoy walks into the tripwires. This usually won't kill all of them, sometimes the boss likes to hang back, or they will split up into two groups on either side of the road, but this makes it a lot lot easier to kill the entire convoy when most of them are already dead. Plus, once the tripwire explodes, they don't actually know where you are, and unless they happen to spot you, they'll kind of just continue walking down the road. The strategy works very, very well, but the risky thing is, is that you have to put yourself in front of the convoy willingly. This sometimes works okay if you go about 200 meters in front of them, but once you get closer, you run the risk of the bot spotting you and killing you instantly, as you can see here. So make sure to go pretty far in front of them. It also takes a while. This means you're going to be in the convoy area a lot longer compared to just sniping them all, and while you're waiting for them to walk over the trip wires, another player could come over and start to kill the convoy. If that player manages to kill them all, then your tripwire setup is kind of screwed and you have to go kill that player now. There's an even riskier way of using explosives to kill the convoys though, and that's just walking behind them with a grenade. This takes some practice to get used to, but you can actually get pretty close to them if you come up from behind. Make sure you're not sprinting though, because if you're sprinting you make a lot more noise and they can hear you coming up behind them. But if you just slowly walk up, you can get close enough just to throw a grenade right on them and blow the majority of them up. Usually they will be too spread out though, so be ready for the bots to spin around and start shooting you. So make sure you have a good assault rifle. I think this is probably the fastest way overall to take out the convoys, but it's also extremely risky. And if you don't take out the boss with that grenade throw, well, you might just be screwed. There is a fourth way of doing these, and that's by using explosive charges. This is a lot better than using a tripwire, because the explosive range of the explosive charges are a lot, lot larger and they do a lot more damage too. The only thing is, explosive charges are much more difficult to make, and they also are used for raiding, which will probably net you more gear anyways. But if you have more explosive charges and you're not really focused on raiding, you could use one to take out one of these convoys. I've only done this in the private test server, that's where you're seeing this footage from, so they might react differently, but I'm pretty sure this will still work in game. So, that's the convoys. Overall, I'd seriously recommend you take a friend while doing this, especially if you want to pick up the case. 
The sheer difficulty of these bosses alone is reason enough to take a friend or even an entire squad to take out one of these convoys. Also, if you're in a squad generally, you're not going to want to shy away from PvP since you will have an advantage most of the time. So it couldn't end up being a good thing to pick up that case so people will try to kill you and fall into your ambush. This convoy is pretty interesting because there's a lot of different ways you can approach this and also use the case. I'm sure there's more strategies you can use to take these guys out than the ones I've listed here, but these are just the ones I've figured out worked the best. Let me know what you want me to make a guide on next, I'm pretty sure I'm going to cover the new recoil control and then after that do raiding. I'm also going to start uploading gameplay here soon at some point, I just need to play a little bit more. Also, if you want to play on a server where you don't have to worry about clans or big squads camping these convoys, there's always my server which you can join in the discord link below. So, if you enjoyed the video, subscribe to the channel for more. That's all I have for now. See you guys.